Welcome to Alaska's Real Deal. I'm your host, Molly McCarthy Kunfer with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. In this series, we're featuring fishing opportunities within some of Alaska's state parks. In order to get the Real Deal this summer, make sure to get your Alaska Sport Fishing License and your Alaska State Parks Pass to enjoy all of the awesome sites that we've featured thus far. Today, we're here at Summit Lake, located in the Hatcher Pass area. We're going to meet up with Sam from the Alaska Department of Fish and Game and Wendy from Alaska State Parks to learn all about how to best enjoy this area. So we're at Summit Lake State Recreation Site. It is a beautiful spot. You're gonna to get to almost 4,000 feet elevation and then pop right down to where Summit Lake is. It's a beautiful little circ lake. So on this road, the parking is somewhat limited. There are little pullouts with room for about six to eight vehicles here and there. We recommend that if you have an RV or a trailer, it's probably not the best road for you. Um, it is a little bit tight. When you are turning off onto this road, it's a good idea to maybe stop at one of the pull-offs before and use the restroom before you head up this way. There are lots of things to do up here. You could spend easily one whole day, if not two or three, visiting Independence Mine State Historical Park. There's hiking all around there. Some other summertime activities are berry picking, paragliding, hiking. Some people just like to drive and take little walks around and photography. So although this road is not open to driving into in the wintertime, folks do park at Hatcher Pass Independence Mine State Historical Park and around there, and they will snow machine up here and ski as well. And if you do come up here, please take all your trash with you and be a steward of our lands. So whether you are one of those folks who likes to fish or you prefer other activities, this is an awesome spot to hit up. So we stocked Summit Lake for the first time in 2020 with Arctic grayling. We stocked it with 500 fish and rainbow trout. So for gear, I would bring just a small fishing rod, throw light tackle at these fish. The other thing you could do is bring a fly rod. We were here with a bunch of fly fishermen this morning and they were throwing the smallest, um, probably gnat patterns and mosquitoes at these fish because that's what's currently hatching. Yeah, this lake is crystal clear, so you'll be able to see when you're throwing different colors at these fish, what's enticing them. Gold and yellow are especially productive in lakes like this. You could throw almost anything and get their attention with the great visibility in Summit Lake. So on days like today, it gets pretty hot, and when the sun is up at this angle, the fish tend to go off the bite, so it's best to fish here early in the morning or late evening for the most activity. This lake falls under the Knick Arm sport fish regulations, so make sure you check your bag limits and hook restrictions before you head out and enjoy your time here at Summit Lake. Thanks for tuning in for the final episode of Alaska's Real Deal. I've had a great time hosting you this summer and exploring 10 of the wonderful sites throughout South Central Alaska where you can enjoy a state park site and go fishing at the same time. Stay tuned on our YouTube channel for more videos about fishing. Smash that like button and subscribe to our channel.